Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related. I also occasionally do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all of these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. So today's video is a lug haul and um, there's a lot to get through for this video. So I'm going to shut up now and let me show you what I actually got from lug live. So, this was, however, the first time I ever got a pretty box. Let me make sure my shipping label's kind of covered up here. So, this was on the outside, as you can see. And then this is the inside. I just folded it to cover my shipping label. But this is the first time I received the pretty box. And this teal butterfly pattern... Would that not make a gorgeous pattern for a bag? Just saying. <laughs> anyway, let me open this box up and I'll show you the first few items that I got. So, the first two were these knapsacks. So, they had these and they still... They still have them on Lug Live for $9 a set. That's an awesome price. If you're not familiar, um, I'll show you this one really quick. I was, I was going to put these up for Christmas for gifts. Well, this one is still getting put up for Christmas for gifts for my nephew. Um, but this one was supposed to be for my daughter and... She's sitting right over there as I film. She's already seen it. So clearly it's not getting put up for Christmas. But the little tag on this too, which I think is interesting, is Velcroed. So that's just different. But it's like this little pillow. Yeah, that's right side up. The little tag's right here. But the flamingo's upside down. So, But that's how this print is. So this is the flamingo black. But it's this little pillow, and it unzips on three sides, and inside is a blanket. And when you unfold the blanket, it's not a big blanket. It's perfect for a little kid, like my daughter's eight, and this works perfect for her. But it's got the little blanket, and then if you see right here... There is a little pocket with a button. And inside here, <clears throat> you have this little plastic pillow. And you blow it up. And then you put it back inside the little zipper case and zip it up. And you have a little travel pillow and blanket set. And they also have this little grippy, not a grippy, handle. They have this little handle. Um, they advertise it as a trolley sleeve to put over your rolling suitcases, but my daughter just grabs it and carries it by that handle, so really convenient. But I got two of those, so I got the Flamingo Black and then the Crimson Large Dot for my nephew, because it was the most boyish looking one. Next few items, or whatever, that I picked up were these the UCB cub caps and I actually got three of them I got the turquoise one because I tried to order these in sets okay I got the black one for my nephew to go with his crimson large dot um, knapsack and then I got the turquoise one because I thought that it would actually match let me see this I thought it was going to match the flamingo blue and I don't know if you can really see that on camera but those are two completely different shades so they don't match but I also got my daughter the gray one and as I said she already looked in this box when I opened it so this stuff is not getting put up for Christmas now well my nephew's is but hers isn't so she already She's been wearing the gray one around the house all day. It's like 112 degrees outside, but she's been wearing this little beanie around her head all day because 
she loves it. So I'll try to insert a little picture of her here wearing the gray one. I'll blur her face, obviously, because I'm a nut job and that, you know. Anyway, but I'll put the picture there so y'all can see her wearing it. She's adorable. So the UCB toe caps were what I got next. After that, I got the one inch violet strap simply because I prefer the one inch strap. The one and a half inches are not my favorite. They're a little bit too wide for my liking. They're still comfortable and they distribute the weight of the bag or whatever perfectly fine. But the one inch strap is just more comfortable to me. And as you will see, I lost my damn mind over this purple. <laughs> so I got the one inch And the strap. next thing that I picked up was the Dolly Short in Violet. I'm telling y'all, I like purple. I have always liked purple. But I'm very particular about the shades of purple that I like. And in general, I'm more of like a blues and greens kind of girl. But this purple, this purple got me, y'all. So this is the perfect, perfect shade of purple in my mind. So I didn't want the dolly because it's just very tall and very empty. I don't know. I just didn't want the larger dolly. But when they brought out the short, I wanted to give it a try. So, if you're unfamiliar, it does have a double zip. And funny enough, I didn't actually get this one to make it a crossbody bag. But you can see it's got those little tabs that you can put the O-rings through. So you could make this a little crossbody bag. It would be a little one, but you could do it. But the Dolly Short, from what I understand, is just a smaller version of the Dolly. You have a double zip. And then a little flap. You have the handle on the flap. Right underneath it, you have a zip pocket, a clear view zipper pocket. And then the rest of it is just plastic lined and wide open. So you have that um, bright floral lining in there and it's just an open pocket so what can I give you an example <clears throat> here's my uh, my cell phone case I'm using my cell phone to record but just for a size reference I can kind of show you that's how my cell phone would sit in it so I think they said it's about nine inches long maybe and about four or five tall and four, three and a half or four deep. But if that gives you any frame of reference for the size, that's my cell phone scooted all the way to the end. So I'm not really sure what I'll do with this yet, but I think it's a good size for just an organizational piece. So we'll see what I do with it because I'm not really... <clears throat> not really sure yet, but I'll figure out something to do with it. So that's the Dolly Short in Violet. The next item that I picked up was the Scoop. And this is the original Scoop. They had this on Lug Live, y'all, for like $24 or something. Crazy good price. And I could not pass it up because... Fun fact, the Scoop was the first bag that I ever purchased from Lug. It was what started the whole thing for me. So, this one is in Watercolor Pearl. Is that what it's called? It just says Water Pearl. I think it's Watercolor Pearl. Um, they do have the Scoop 2 now. I prefer the original. I think this one is designed a lot better. And I've always looked at this print and thought it was really cute, really pretty. I love the colors in it. Love that gray background and then the pinks and those turquoises with the little splashes of white. And I just, I love the color scheme. And for $24, there was no way I was going to pass this up. So the original scoop, if you're unfamiliar, has a giant zip pocket here in the front. This is your cell phone pocket. It is not a magnetic on this bag it is a zipper there's my uh cell phone in there and you can see <clears throat> this extends excuse me 
This extends all the way to this edge seam right here. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. And my phone stops right here. So there's probably like two and a half to three inches of additional space in there. So this pocket will truly fit the largest of cell phones. So directly behind that front pocket, you have another zip pocket that zips around probably about close to halfway down. Not quite, but close. And this is just a large open pocket. And for concealed carry purposes, this is where I carry my gun when I use this handbag. It's a perfect spot for it, but it's also a perfect spot for a ton of things. The next pocket back, so we've had one to the next pocket back with the double zip here. When you undo this one, this is where you get that built-in wallet. So you have one, two, three, four card slots on each side. This one doesn't have the bill slip pocket, what they call the cash drawer pocket, but it does have right here in the center a big zip pocket that you can put your change and cash and all of that in. And then on the other side, you have two cargo pockets. Now, this is a better design in my opinion, because if I show you the side here, you can see that these pockets have their own individual space. This front pocket, the soft line pocket right here, does not have its own gusset, but it has these pleats on the front that allow that pocket to expand forward so that all of these aren't fighting for their own, or fighting for that same space. So here on the bottom, you can see that the zip pocket, just that big zip pocket, has its own space. The wallet section has its own space right there. And then the main interior on the back, when you open it up, you have your one inch adjustable removable crossbody strap, my favorite. Inside, you get another clear view pocket, two more cargo pockets right there. So the main interior pretty much is all on its own. It, you have nothing pushing up against it. They're just, the fact that the pockets have their own space and their own gusset is what makes this design better in my mind. And then across the back, you have one more um, zip pocket, and this again is just a big open pocket. I love this bag style. It is a smaller bag style, but it packs an absolute punch for a small bag. So this is the original scoop and watercolor pearl. And then the last item that I picked up from Lug Live is the stretch. So this is the stretch in Shibori Purple. And to be honest with you all, I was not sold on this print at first. As I said, I do like purple, <clears throat> excuse me, but it, it, it has to be a really particular shade of purple for me. So I wasn't sold on this one until I saw the host of whatever day this was on special was on sale through Lug Live. The host was going shoot, shoot, the host was going shoot, the host was going through and showing the available color pattern options and she was showing the interiors. And when I saw the interior of this one, I was like, yep, that's it. I'm sold. I'm going for that one. And now that I've got it in front of me, I'm actually really happy that I went with this pattern. I thought with this shibori print, this almost tie-dye-ish look, that it was just going to be <clears throat> too busy for me, I guess, but it's not. I think it's lovely. I actually really like it. So the stretch, if you're unfamiliar, unfortunately comes with the one and a half inch strap, which I would have preferred the one inch, but I might be able to use. No, that violet doesn't really match. I might still use it. Anyway, on the front of the bag, you have this big doofer here, this little key clip thing. And if you can see on there, it will clip on and off. I couldn't care less about that. That's whatever. But this is my current bag that I'm in. So right here on the front, you have a big pocket. And it has another pocket inside of it. This one is fleece lined on the front. I have nothing in there. Um, 
I don't really need it, but you can see that interior print a little bit right there. Not very well. I'll show it to you better in a minute. And then on the front side of that pocket, if you can see in there, there are two card slips. It is RFID protected, if that matters to you. <clears throat> and then on the back, let's just look at that one. You have a big long zip pocket. No additional organization in there. It is just a big zip pocket. And there's a look at that interior. I think that's gorgeous. Those that kind of lilac y background with those little florals. I think it's gorgeous. I also forgot <laughs> on the front you have your soft line cell phone pocket right there. This is a good size one. My phone fits in there absolutely no problem with room to spare. If I push it all the way to one side, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but there's a good inch beyond my phone in there. And then on the inside, this is a fairly simple bag, and that's part of why I like it so much. So on the inside, along the back, you have one of the privacy zips, and then two cargo pockets right here. And within this cargo pocket, if you can see that, there are two pen slips right there. The opposite side has a clear view window. I don't have anything in mine. But while we're in here, since this is my current bag that I'm in, I also recently picked up another splits. And this one is in bouquet pearl or bouquet gray. I can't remember what it's called. I didn't actually get very much of the bouquet on the front there, but I still really like the splits. It's one of my favorite wallet styles. So you have your change coin pocket on the back. The You have a bunch of card pockets back here with divided sections. I choose to keep my cash in here because it's easier. I don't have to try to go in and out of that big long bill slip pocket and keep it all straightened out. So I just keep it back there. And then the main pocket, I'll just do that. The main pocket, you have an ID window right here. One, two additional slips, two card slips here. One, two more slips right here. And then a longer bill pocket right there at the top. So this is the splits in, I think it's bouquet pearl, but Love this pattern. You'll probably see some more of that. <laughs> so this is the stretch in Shibori purple. Love this bag style. Okay, so the next few items have either been picked up from QVC, Facebook group, Mercari, eBay, wherever, somewhere else. But there's quite a few of them. So <laughs> let's jump into it. The first one that I picked up is the slider. And this was in... I want to say this was called Berry Purple. This is the older version of the slider, not the new one. So it still had that dual fabrication, the heathered fabrication up here, and then the traditional nylon down here. I love the slider. This is a just a great mid-sized bag. And it's another, what I consider, fairly simple design from Lug. And I always wanted this color, but I didn't pick it up. So in the bottom down here, you just have a pocket. The next zip pocket up, again, just a pocket. But this one is the one that is RFID, if you can see that right there. So you have two zip pockets. And then you have your softline cell phone pocket. On the back, a zip pocket with two pen slips right there. And then the main <clears throat> main interior of the bag, you have your one inch adjustable removable crossbody strap. And then the inside is really simple. I like that you have really good visibility. You have that key bungee, a clear view zip pocket on this wall. The front of the bag has the clear view. And then on the back, you have those two cargo pockets. Super simple design, really great bag. I love it. 
And if you can see from the side here, this bag style has that very kind of traditional triangular shape. So you get really good capacity in this one. It lays against your body really nicely. Just a great mid-sized bag. So that's the slider in berry purple. Next one I picked up, you're going to see a theme, is the tenor in violet. So this is part of why I picked up that one inch strap because the tenor comes with the one and a half inch strap, which is again, not my preference. So I'll use the one inch strap with it. The tenor traditionally comes with that little zip pouch that is designed to be kind of like a wristlet wallet type thing. I picked this bag up from that lug group, the lug BST, and I have put on there, they have a thread where instead of going through the process of looking at the listings, you can essentially just put what you're in search of on there. And a few weeks back, I had put on there that I was in search of a tenor in violet and that I did not care about the little pouch. Um, I love pouches. Don't get me wrong. Don't think that I don't because I do love pouches. But I did not find the pouch that comes with the tenor to be particularly um, useful for me because it had all the card slots and things in it. I wanted to use it as a wallet. But... I found the card slots difficult to get into. The ones that were um, on the furthest side away from where the zipper closed. The card slots on that side were really hard to access. So if I couldn't use it as a wallet, like a wallet wristlet, then I didn't care about it. And so I found this one. Somebody was super kind and sold this to me for a great price without the pouch. They kept the pouch for their own purposes and I just wanted the bag because again, I love this violet. So the tenor has the um, soft line cell phone pocket right there. Again, my phone case fits in there. No problem. I mean, this one's a good it goes all the way to the bottom. So you have a good depth on this pocket. I know some of them, you know, getting your phone in there is a little tricky. You have the little grab handles up there. And the D-rings on this bag are a little smaller than what Lug traditionally uses. But I love this bag style. It is one of my favorites. I like using it as a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag. However you can imagine, it's one of my favorites. And this one, again, is a style that kind of has that triangular shape to it. So I find that it just kind of lays against my body really comfortably. But anyway, on the back, you have a long zip pocket here. <clears throat> and this is another one that has, it's harder to see in here because of that darker lining. But you have the two little pin slips right there. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, the main interior of the bag. You have a key bungee again. This is going to be hard because this is darker, you guys, but I'll try to show you. On this side right here, you have that clear view zip pocket. And then right here kind of in the corner are two card slips, if you can see that. So one, two. Um, I guess that's cool. I don't use those, but I guess that's neat for somebody that would. And then again on the back side, those two cargo pockets, but these are both soft lined, if you can see that. So right there and right there. Those have the soft lining on the front. So again, for a lug bag, in my opinion, this is a pretty simple style, and I think that's why I gravitate to these so much. Because they're not overloaded with pockets, and in my opinion, they have you know, like the perfect amount of pocket organization so that I can still utilize my own pouches and my own little things inside without being overrun with excessive pockets. <laughs> but that's the tenor in violet. The next two that I picked up are the exact same, but I got it in two different colors because I'm a nut job. 
And what I got was the Dory Mini. I got it in violet and sky. So I got both of these off of that lug group too. I got a great deal on both of them because when the Dory was released, I completely missed it. And they were all gone by the time I um, noticed it. But if you're unfamiliar with the Dory, you have your two little grab handles here. And you can, I mean, like I could get them in the crook of my arm, but it's not super comfortable because the bag doesn't really hang. It just kind of sits there. So, you know, I guess I could knock somebody out with it. But you have your two little grab handles here. On the front of the bag, there are no external pockets. On the back of the bag, there are no external pockets. These are small bags, but I think they are so damn cute that, yeah, I got two. <laughs> I got my favorite. I got the violet and the sky blue. So, on each side of this bag, into the seams right here, you have the soft line pockets. So if I smash the middle up, you have the big soft line pocket there, and then another one on the other side. And um, for reference, here's my phone. It fits in there fine. The, um, the opening right here is a little bit tighter than the actual space that you get inside, but it's plenty big enough for your phone. And then once you get inside, <clears throat> again, this is gonna be one that's hard to show because it has that um, bright floral lining, which actually isn't bright, it's pretty dark. But inside, you have that key bungee right here on the side. And then, Along the front of the bag where you have the little um, emblem, you have this little tiny baby clear view pocket right down there. So if you can see, I'll try to show you the best that I can, but this bag is really small. If you can see, that's how far my hand goes in it. That's as deep as that pocket is. So it that pocket's only about this deep. So not a big one but it's there and then on the opposite side of the bag you get a little privacy zip pocket down there that's about the same size as the clear view and then two little baby cargo pockets right there if you can see those so like I said this is a small bag this is a really small bag but I have already packed up and used the violet one because I'm obsessed with this violet color for whatever reason and it will hold the essentials. It holds the absolute bare essentials. So this isn't um, an everyday bag for me by any means, but it is a great little shopping bag, a great little quick errands bag, whatever you want, you know, whatever you want to use it for. And if you carry less than I do, then this could be an everyday bag for you. But it's so cute. It's just a little baby tote crossbody. You know, these little straps will lay down or they can sit up. There's just, the Dory Mini is just adorable. I did it. I made the pun. It's adorable. <laughs> so that's the Dory Mini and Violet and Sky. So these two items also came from that lug group from a wonderful seller. She was so kind, so sweet. She gave me an awesome deal. And this is the tram and the three-piece transport sets, which I've shown these before and I'm sure that y'all are familiar with them. So I'm not going to pull these all out and pull them apart yet because both of these were still absolutely brand new, never used, and they are in the ocean blue. So I will take this off and show you the pattern. I also found out from the seller that I purchased these from that this pattern didn't actually come in any of the regular bag styles. It came out in a puddle jumper duffel, um, a double decker, the tram, I think a kickflip, 
the transports and maybe one or two other items, but it just, it didn't come out in very much. So this is the Tropical Ocean print. I absolutely love this print. I think it's fun and summery and festive and I love that shade of blue that's in the background. And it's not coming across quite as accurate on screen because this orangey shade is quite a bit more neonish in person. But these are the transports. So the big one has the little clip. The other two do not. You have a privacy zip pocket in the back of them. They just have a solid lining. And then this top zip pocket gets you into the whole clear section. And it's a set of three. So you can see the largest piece, the medium size, and then the small. So that's the transports in ocean, tropical ocean. <laughs> I keep wanting to say ocean blue. And then I also picked up the tram from her. And so if you're not familiar, the tram is my favorite larger sized wallet from Lug because while it is a full size wallet, it will figure checkbook, it'll fit, you know, anything that you need it to fit, but it's still a nice compact size. And I love that it has this big, I don't know why I do that. It has this big zipper pocket and then it also has the smaller zip pocket for your change or your coins. And I absolutely love that bright orange interior color on this. I think it's fabulous and fun. Um, and then the main section of it, I already gave you a glimpse, but... All the card slots are trimmed in that bright orange, which I love. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have eight card slots here. On this side, you have an ID window and then an additional card slot behind that, a large slot. And then on this side, you have one and two large um, slip sections. So I absolutely love the tram. It is, even though I rarely use larger wallets these days when I do especially if I want to use a lug wallet I go for the tram it is just my absolute favorite so that was the tram and the three-piece trolley set in tropical ocean we're getting there you guys I'm sorry this is gonna be a long one because I think there's still like 10 more things to show y'all so this next bag that I picked up I'm gonna go ahead and preface this by saying this was not a bag style that I was ever interested in not at all. But when I started kind of looking around doing a little bit of research to see what I could get in this particular pattern, I found out that there's not been a lot that was released in this pattern. It was kind of slim pickings. So I kind of had to reserve myself to the fact that if I wanted a bag in this pattern, um, it was going to be this one or one other one, and I'm not crazy about either. Which it could have come out in other ones that I'm just not aware of. But anyway, I went ahead and grabbed it to give it a try. I haven't used it yet, but I'll let y'all know later. But I picked up the Trolley Crossbody in Herringbone Aqua. I absolutely love, love this pattern. <clears throat> I think it's gorgeous. It's very kind of geometric, but it's in those different shades of blues and greens right up my alley. I love it. I think it's one of the more sophisticated prints that Lug has come out with. That's not the right word. Not sophisticated. I don't know the right word, but it's one of the most oof patterns that they've come out with. I wish they would release more in this style. So, along with it, I got this from a seller on Mercari, actually. And I got the two-piece set. I got the splits wallet also included. And it was a great deal for both of these. I think it was 40-ish dollars. So I couldn't pass it up. I had to give it a try. Um, this is just a regular splits. Nothing nothing different about it. It is just a regular splits. The trolley crossbody, if you're unfamiliar, up here you have your cell phone slot. 
so there's my phone. It has a good amount of room in it. No issue there. You have a front zip pocket. And in this zip pocket along the back wall, you have another zip pocket, a privacy zip. And then along the front, you have a bunch of card slots. So this is your RFID pocket in this bag. You have one, two, three, four, five, six card slots. On each end of the bag, you get these little zip around pockets which have no other organization in them. You just get one on each end. On the back of the bag, you have another zip pocket. No additional organization in there, just a zip pocket. You have your top grab handle, of course. And then the main interior. One of the reasons I did go ahead and try this was because it came with the one inch strap too. But the main interior in here, you have your key bungee. Along the front of the bag, this front wall right here, you have one of those clear view zip pockets. And then on the back, you have two, two cargo pockets in there, if you can see those. So, the accessibility in this bag, I thought was going to be really terrible. And it's not great, don't get me wrong. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be either. But I still think that if Amy would have, instead of making this top entry zip just go straight across, if she would have done this more like the Alpine, but kept the D-rings where they're at, not put them on the top zipper flap, but if she would have done this more like the Alpine and made the zipper come from the back, forward, across, and then back where we could actually flap the top of this open, I think it would have made it so, so much more user friendly in my opinion. But, you know, more like the actual trolley in the way it opens. She still could have kept the top handle. Everything else could have been the exact same. It would have just opened like the trolley, mini trolley, or like a duffel bag that just zips you know, around to give you that flap to open up. I think it would have made it so much more user friendly. But like I said, I haven't actually tried to use this one yet. So I may like it more than I think that I will. But regardless, even if it's one of the most difficult <laughs> bags to use in my collection, I will still keep it because I love this print and I will find a way to utilize it within my collection. So that is the Trolley Crossbody in Herringbone Aqua. The next bag I picked up is kind of the same situation as the Herringbone Aqua. As far as I'm aware, this print has not been released in very many bag styles. So it was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it was one of those take what you get or get nothing right now. So for right now, I took what I could get and I picked up the okay. Scoop 2 in bouquet pearl so if you watched my previous videos then you already know that i'm not a very big fan of the scoop 2 for the simple fact that they tried to smash one two three different pockets in this little tiny gusset right here they tried to put a full wallet section <clears throat> your Softline cell phone pocket and this front zip pocket all within that little tiny gusset. And it doesn't work very well. You just have too much that's trying to fight for the same space and it just doesn't work that well. However, I love this print. I like the bouquet prints in general. Um, I think the only one that I don't have right now is the bouquet red because I'm just not a massive red person but I had to have something in this bouquet pearl because I just think it's gorgeous I love grays and blacks and browns and whites and creams and all those neutrals and then to have these really pretty blues and yellows and whites and greens kind of popping off of that really pretty silverish gray I just think it's gorgeous so I had to have it so, the Scoop 2, 
if you're unfamiliar, you have a front zip pocket, just a zip pocket. There is no other organization in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Directly behind that, right here, <clears throat> excuse me, you have your softline cell phone pocket, and it's, again, plenty large enough. Directly behind that, in this double zip right here, you have your wallet section. So, this one does have the um, cash drawer. And then I think it's eight card slots. Yeah, eight card slots. Your middle zipper right here. And then two cargo pockets, you know, plus the space around it. But again, all three of those pockets, all of that is smashed into this tiny little amount of room. So to utilize that, you have to be very careful. I have kind of figured out how to use this bag a little bit better, but I'll keep working at it till I figure it out because just like that herringbone aqua, even though this bag style is kind of a pain in the ass for me personally, I'm not willing to give it up until I can find something else to replace this pattern with. It's just how it is. On the back, you have another zip pocket no additional organization in there just a zip pocket and then the one inch adjustable removable crossbody strap my favorite then on the inside you have your clear view pocket that sits against all this other junk that they're trying to you know cram into this a space that's not even an inch thick <laughs> and then along the back side two cargo pockets so you have a decent amount of room in the main body of the bag so I can I'll figure it out I'll figure out how I can make this bag really work for me but in the meantime I also found this one and I had to pick it up because look at that placement I got the little bouquet right in the middle on this one. It's perfect. So this is the roundabout two, also in bouquet pearl. This one, if I haven't mentioned it, all of these have been brand new with tags so far. I think there's only two of these that weren't, and I'll show you which ones those were, but all of these were brand new with tags. So the roundabout two. I like this a lot for what it is. I have two more. I have one right here in Lily Sand and then somewhere back through there I have a bouquet black. But I really like this item. I'm not huge on like wallet crossbody type bags but this one has enough capacity to actually make it more like a mini bag as opposed to just a wallet and so I can make these work for me pretty well. So, the front of this, the very first pocket right here is a zip pocket, and it is soft lined. So, that is your cell phone pocket. My phone case, you kind of have to angle it a little bit to get it in. Well, actually, no. This one will just... This phone is a little bit smaller than my old one, so it just goes straight in. But if you have a larger phone, you can get it in there. You just kind of have to angle it at first and then put it in. But that's your softline cell phone pocket. And then directly behind that one, you have... Oh, I'm a lunatic. They're up here. <laughs> you have a double zipper that goes around. And in here, you have your built-in wallet. So, on the front side, you have that cash drawer and... Eight card, eight, eight card slips on this side. I can't talk today. On this side over here, you have your clear ID window, and one, two, three, four more card slips right here. Then you have that long zip pocket, and then on the other side you have 
um, one large cargo pocket and the front of it is soft lined. On the very back of the bag, you have a slip pocket. Now there's no magnet, no zipper, no anything like that. It is just a slip pocket. My phone will fit there as well. And you do have little belt loops so that you can put the strap for this through these belt loops and turn it into a belt bag if that's what you want. The main interior, you have more like a three quarter inch strap with this one. It's not a one inch or I don't think it's a one inch. Let me see. Yeah, no. So this is the one inch. You can see that one's a little smaller. So this one's more like a three quarter inch strap. But you also get a wristlet strap with this one. So you can use it as a wristlet or a crossbody or just a big wallet. And then inside this main pocket, on the back side of it, you get these little elastic loops, and this entire back section is plastic lined. However, these little gussets on the side, you can see my finger right there, they don't connect all the way to the bottom. So be mindful of that, whatever you put in here, if it's really, really tiny, it could potentially come out those sides. I've never had that issue. But you have these little elastics, and I'll be honest, I cut these out of my bouquet black. Because this is supposed to be a makeup section back here. That's why it's all plastic lined. So you could wipe it out. However, I don't carry this much makeup with me. And if I was going to carry a mini bag anyway, it wouldn't be full of just makeup and my wallet contents. <laughs> so I think the idea is cute and clever. But um, I just don't utilize those very well. So you get one, two, three, four of those little elastic things. And then on the other side, you have a mesh zip pocket. And I do use this one because the way that they designed this, if you can, I don't know how well I'll be able to show it, but right here on the side, you can see that they actually gave that little zip pocket its own gusset toward the end right there. So you can actually put some stuff in here and it'll hold it. It's not just a flat against the back pocket. So it's just a little mesh pocket there, but it's the size of the whole wall of the bag. And then just, you know, that's just the interior space that you get. So you can put a decent amount of stuff in here. So that's why I like it. That's why I said as far as like a little wallet on a string type bag. I really like this one because it actually has a decent amount of depth to it. It can actually expand. You can actually fit some real contents in here without it just being enough to hold your cards and cash and things. So this is the roundabout two in bouquet pearl. Love this. Okay, the next bag I picked up is not, this one was not brand new with tags, but I got this one for a great deal, and I've been looking for something in this print forever. I finally found something at a good price, and I couldn't pass it up, so I picked up the Flutter in Rockstar. I absolutely love this. I think this is the Flutter. But look at that print. You can't tell me that is not freaking adorable. Those... Just those super simple distressed gold stars. I absolutely love it. So the Flutter is a bag that I did not have before this. And I was very unfamiliar with it. But I grabbed it up as soon as it was offered to me. So let's go through it. So this is a small bag. Right here. If you can see behind this little scoop. You have your lug label right here, and then there's like this little tiny scoop. Right inside there, you have a zip pocket. There's no other organization in there. It does not soft lined. It's just a small zip pocket. And then directly above that, you have another zip pocket that goes straight across. Now, this one is a bit different. Inside here, if you can see on this side, 
you have two pen slips right there and right there. And then right here, you have a cargo pocket. So maybe that's a better way to show you. So two pen slips and then a cargo pocket. And the front of this cargo pocket is soft lined. I'm not gonna be able to show you that. Yeah, maybe I can. If you can see that, it's the same color, so it's not very visible, but it is a soft lined pocket. And then you just have, you know, the open space in there. So, directly above that zip pocket right here, so you had the little zip pocket in the scoop, the straight zip pocket, and then right above that is the soft line cell phone pocket. So this is a small bag again. Here's my phone case. My phone just perfectly kind of sits right in there. There's not much extra space above it, but it will magnetize and will catch. Okay, on this side of the bag, you have that hidden water bottle pocket. And this is the older one, so it is the magnetic one, which I prefer. I prefer the magnet over the snaps. I'm not sure why they went to the snaps for these instead of the magnet, but I'm sure there's a reason, but this one is just that super easy, super simple magnetic one. On the back side, <clears throat> you have another zip pocket. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nothing in this one, just a zip pocket. The strap for this bag is not removable, but it is adjustable. And this is, again, a one inch strap. On the inside of this bag, it is a small one. And with all these stacked pockets on the front, you're gonna have to be very careful with how you pack this bag. Um, but, you know, there's a decent little amount of room in there. So, on the front side of the bag, so here's your front on that wall, you have two cargo pockets. And then in the corner or the side here, in this little side seam, you have your bungee key clip. And then on the back side, you have a privacy zip. So the inside is very, very simple compared to the outside. But I just think that this print is adorable. I think this little small bag style will be great as just a teeny tiny little errand bag. I've learned with myself that if I have more space in a bag, I will fill it with something. Whether I need to or not, whether I've already got all my essentials in there or not, if I have the space, I'm going to shove something in the space. So, I can make these smaller bags work for me very well. It's just, I have to be in the mood to pare down enough to do it. But, this one will work great, and I love, 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 love this Rockstar print. I wish they would bring it back. I just love that distressed look like you've had this for years and years, and you've just loved it and used it so much that it's almost starting to just chip away. But anyway, so that was the flutter. I didn't even double check that. Let me make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Yep. So that's the flutter in Rockstar. Four more to go. <laughs> So the next one that I picked up is the Slider in Resort Tropics, I believe. Yeah, because my favorite one is the Resort Black, but this one is the Resort Tropics. So this again is a regular slider. I absolutely love the lining to this, the little dots with the palm trees. I absolutely love it. So you have a zip pocket zip pocket and this one does have your RFID shielding phone slip zip pocket across the back with your two pen slips right there one of my favorite features again that awesome one inch strap <laughs> and then the inside your clear view pocket, your 
two very nice sized cargo pockets and your key bungee. Again, the slider is just a really simple style from Lug, but it works great. And these colors are brighter in person than I think they're coming across on the camera. But they're, they're gorgeous. I still, my favorite is still the Resort Black. But these, these colors are gorgeous in person too. So that is the Slider in Resort Tropics. So the next bag that I picked up is one that I have been looking for for years. I think years, a couple years now. <laughs> When this bag was released, I think I had two lug bags in my collection and I didn't see it until it had already sold out and I was heartbroken. Like, just, oh, my heart ached because I loved the way this looked so much. And ever since then, I have been on the lookout for one, and it's taken me this long to find it, but I finally did, and I couldn't be more thrilled. So I found the Apollo in Heather Feather. This tote bag is gorgeous. That embroidery right there of those two feathers are just, ah, chef's kiss. Perfect. Perfection. Did you just say chef's kiss? I did. Oh, God. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Why? I don't get it. It's perfection. Why did you go, Ma, chef's kiss? <laughs> because that, when like it, a, when, like a French person. Look, when the bag. Like their pasta. Look, when the bag is perfection, it deserves a chef's kiss. Really, it deserves a. So, the Apollo. You have your two tote handles. Those have a perfectly fine drop. Um, it's not the longest by any means. I would say it's maybe nine inches, maybe ten, probably around nine. But it works fine. The front of the bag is perfectly clean and gorgeous and beautiful, except for your little signature cell phone pocket. There's my phone again. And apparently this is a horizontal pocket and I'm a dumbass. <laughs> so... My phone fits in there, no problem. Um, my phone will almost fit in there vertically, actually, but it is a horizontal pocket, so. On the back side, you have this little baby zipper up here at the top. There's no organization in there, just a pocket. You have the larger zipper below it, and if I'm not mistaken, this is RFID. I think this pocket is the RFID pocket. But this lining is kind of dark, so it's hard to tell. I'm trying to see if I can fill that little tag anywhere. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's neither and I'm just a lunatic. I don't know. Um, this one does come with a one and a half inch strap, which, you know, I'm fine with it on this. This is a bigger bag, whatever. I would still prefer a one inch, but this one's fine. It works fine. Um, this larger pocket in here, uh, it's dark, but if you can see right here, there's two, um, two little pen pockets again, right there. And then... What? You have that trolley sleeve. The bottom has the four little plastic feet. And then you have a double zip for the main entry. And inside here, this again is dark, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to show you. But we'll do our best here. So along the front wall of the bag. So here's the front. So on that wall, you have the um, one large clear view pocket. So yeah, you can see my hands are there. So that's, that's a clear view pocket. And then 
trying to make sure I don't miss anything because this seems very simple. I love this so much. And then on the back side, you have two very large cargo pockets. So, very simple for a tote bag. There are what I consider to be a pretty normal amount of um, pockets. It's not overly done. It's just, yeah, this bag is just perfection. I am so happy that I got this Heather Feather because I just think that embroidery is gorgeous and classic and sophisticated and beautiful and just, ah, perfection. <laughs> so that's the Apollo and Heather Feather. Okay, we're down to the last two. The last two are the exact same bag. I ordered these from QVC. They were on sale quite a while back, several weeks ago. And Lug had released a few new prints in these. And I already had one that I had purchased before. And I had made a comment when I showed that one that I said I wasn't sure if this bag style was going to really work for me or not. Because it was a bit small. Um, I wasn't crazy about one of the features in it. But since then and since I've gotten these two, I have figured out how to make this bag style work great for me. And what I'm talking about is the Flare 2. So the first one that I picked it up in is the Flamingo Blue. I just absolutely love these damn flamingos so much. I love that shade of blue. I love the green on it and the pink with the black and just, oh, it's gorgeous. It's very pretty. It is, isn't I it? I like them a lot. I love these little flamingos. I love the flamingos. And then the next one, or the other print that I picked it up in, was the Sketch Floral Blush. And I think this one is gorgeous. I don't feel the same about these. I absolutely love both of them, but the Flamingo Blue to me is like the epitome of summer. It's bright, and it's fun, and it's whimsical, and I just, it makes me so happy when I see it. The Sketch Floral Blush is elegance in a pattern. I think this is like a timeless, almost kind of like a neutral because this shade of blush pink is very, it's almost like a taupey pink. You can definitely tell it's still a pink, but it's like a taupey neutralish pink. And I think the pattern is just very very elegant and very simple for a pattern, but I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. So this one is a bit, um, fancier, I guess, to me. And this one is just pure, unadulterated fun. Just pure fun. And now I have to find something in the Flamingo Mint even more so. So I can have the Flamingo Mint and the Blue. But anyway, these are the Flare 2. I've already used my Flamingo Blue one. I have not used this one yet. So really quickly, I'll show you the interior print of each of these and the straps that you get. <clears throat> and then I'll give you the overview of the features. So the Flamingo Blue, you get these dang one and a half inch straps again, which I may purchase the one inch straps separately. But anyway, you get the magenta strap to go with this one. And I think it looks great with it. it. makes it pop. It makes it even more bright and fun. And then you get the flamingo blue strap. And check this out. Look at the placement on this strap. So on this side of the strap, I got, you know, decent flamingos. They're kind of missing the end of their face, but there's still whole flamingos on there, right? Look at this side. Perfection. My flamingos are like perfect on this side of the strap. Lined up all the way down like you literally could not get a better strap placement for the flamingos just amazing blows my mind my pattern placement usually doesn't end up very good on my bags i'm just not lucky like that but i'm telling you i got i i nailed it with this flamingo one look at look at that upright 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 just oh love it love these flamingos so much so the interior of the flamingos is that, what do they call it? I don't know what they call it. 
but it's like the little sprinkles and the stripe pattern. And then the sketch floral, like I said, I haven't used this one yet, but for it, you get the sketch floral strap and then the silver strap, the metallic silver. I think it goes really well with it. I think it makes it look even a bit more fancy, if you will. And then the interior of this one is the little um, clover dot things. I don't know what it's called, but that's the interior of that one. So, since I've already used the Flamingo one, I'll give you a quick tour of that one. So, the Flare 2. This one does come with the little charm bar bit. And this is just, if you're not, if you don't know what this is, it's just a little rubbery bit that just sits there and then pushes back down onto that little pig. So, it's, it's nothing crazy. It's fine. Um, then you have your soft-lined cell phone pocket. That's all that's on the front. And again, there's my phone. Fits perfectly right in that pocket. Um, this, this cell phone pocket is huge for the size of this bag. This is another one that is a horizontal um, cell phone pocket. But you can see that my phone will go all the way in and you can't really see the top of it. But it's like, it's a huge cell phone pocket. Okay. On the back, you have that long zip pocket that covers the entire bag. You have two pen slips in that side right there. And then this is one where um, it's hooded. So you have basically the entire back of this bag is one big zip pocket. And then inside... This is my least favorite part of this bag because I am not crazy about it, but it's the built-in wallet. So you get one, two, three, you get six card slots and then the bill slip. And that's just the tag to the bag because I already used it. Um, that's on the front wall of the bag. When I use this again, I'll probably try to utilize that built-in wallet just to see if it helps with the functionality of it a bit, but I don't know. On the back wall, you get a privacy zip, and this one's not huge, but it's fine. Two cargo slips, and then in this corner, you have that key bungee. And now, if you can look down in the bottom of the bag right there, I'm going to try to show you the best I can, but do you see that flap? That's sewn in, so that doesn't come out. But that is the base to your bag. There is like a um, more rigid piece of plastic in there. I think it's plastic. So you can push it up for storage and then just flatten the bag. But when you go to use it, you see how it just kind of sits there? They actually designed it to, let me show you there is a seam along the bottom of the bag that this little flap kind of tucks under to keep it in place. So once you get it started, you can just kind of run your finger along it and get it positioned down in there. But once you do that, there we go. Then you have a structured base to the bag. So it actually, you get a decent little bit of room in this bag. It's, um, it's not bad at all. Like I said, I am learning more and more how to make this bag style work for me because I love these flamingos and I love this sketch floral. So these are the Flare 2 in flamingo blue and sketch floral blush. Love these. So that's it, y'all. We finally made it through all of the items, however many that I made it through. I made it through all of these items finally. Yay. <laughs> so 
Anyway, I hope that you saw something that you were interested in, maybe something you hadn't seen before or something you wanted a little bit more information about. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions or you just want to say hello, then leave me a message down below in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.